we've moved on to our next project now as you can see we got another old wall right here the wall is a thinner series vinyl seawall which has lost some of its integrity the wall was installed too high which has caused the interior corrugations to bow out due to the load and hydraulic pressure of the water behind the seawall bowing the wall out so we're going to come in here and go ahead and get this wall pulled out and try to do minimal excavation because you can see the house is real close to this in a canal here this wall will be six foot exposed by the time we're done we'll go ahead and put a new everlast vinyl seawall in it's a 5.5 series going 14 foot sheets we're only going to have about six foot exposed and tied back with 5 8 12 stainless steel tie back rods to probably a seven to eight foot piling that i'll drive down on the back side of the wall Here's the next project we're fixing to get started on up here in the canals. It's a vinyl seawall with too big of an exposure height. You can see the center of the wall has actually become pregnant and bowed out. It's just not strong enough to support this type of elevation. So we'll get in here and get it taken care of, get this wall removed, and get a new one put in its place. Hey, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I appreciate you giving me a subscribe and a thumbs up and a comment if you like it. If you got any questions, feel free to leave them here on the page. It's a lot easier for me to answer them back and post the emails. I just stay so busy on equipment and tractor, and I've got several that I do need to get answered. I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. Thanks for your patience. See, we got a very small canal here. My barge is 21 foot wide, and we are trying to ease up through here now. I told the guys, do not tap, do not lean. Do not press against any existing docks because you just don't know the condition of the pilings. And the person that owns it might think it's in great shape. And as soon as we touch it with 100,000 pounds, the whole thing could fall over. So we try to be very slow as we come up in here because we don't want to be building any for free. As you can see there, we got spud pipes sticking up too. We got to be careful of that as we're going by boathouses so we don't get hung up on them. After removing the cap, we're trying to figure out why just this one section of wall was bowed out. And then we hear water running. And we see there's a stream of water coming down through here. You can see it down in the corrugations, just flowing. Flowing, flowing. It's washed out all behind this wall. We followed the source of it. And it looks like the neighbor might have a broken water line over here. It's causing all of this to wash down to the weakest point of the seawall and start sucking dirt out find it? Uh, no, I can literally go on that yeah, side. Yeah, let's start pulling these boards up here and digging this up. But we're going to look down it's and on see this what side. we've got right here. It's coming down the oh, back. It sure is, yeah. It's on the back side of that and flower bed. You can see it up inside there. It must be a broken water line or something. Broken sprinkler pipe. Yeah. Okay. I could yeah, literally go over there. there. I could go over there. six by six well the way I tie it back on five foot four centers really doesn't need a six by six it supports it well it's a lot less weight when we got big hills and all that here in the backyard and with the staggered joints it's like we've got a solid four by eight beam anyway so it, it's done good for 40 years that I've been doing it so that's the answer to that question <laughs> not bad progress for one day got the old wall out got the new whalers ran Got 32 foot of vinyl installed. Had to wait on material for about two hours, but uh, we definitely made good out of it for us today. We're 
try to get us all knocked out on Monday. Got low tide this morning. Our barge is kind of sitting on the ground, so we have to push it out, get the rest of this wall in. Already got our operator set up and ready to go. Got Chief in the seat today. Chief, you driving? Huh? You gonna operate? Getting close to the last sheet right now. You can see right there, we're gonna to try to get it to connect to the other wall right there. We got the co-pilot sitting right here. Help me make sure everything gets done just right. Right, Chief? Okay, we did not quite make it right to the corner. So this gives us a little issue where we gotta deal with getting this vinyl connected to this vinyl. So I'll show you what we plan on doing. A lot of times people are concerned about the connection of the two walls was uh, rightly so because if you don't get them connected properly that's the least, least path of resistance and then the water's going to flow right there and tear it out. So what we're going to do is we're actually fabricate the sheet that will go through there and I'll show you that here in just a second. But we'll connect these two together, that old corner over there and I think I'm going to need one more corner just to be able to make the turn enough. And then we've got a return wall coming back here 10 foot at a higher elevation. As you can see this wall here is about a foot higher than this. So what we've done is taken two sheets, ripped them down to what we need, and then two female sheets. So we've got a female length side, and where we're sticking it together, we got filter cloth in between them. And we're running 3 8 bolts, stainless steel bolts to it, bolt it together. So there's, it's definitely not a, a weak sheet because we're in a corner, kind of like a little triangle, which makes a lot stronger. Flip that over real quick so you can see the bottom of that filter cloth I just did. The filter cloth will be on the landward side, so you won't see that. All right, there's our corner that we just made. It's going to fit in between our wall and the existing wall. Try to move it a little bit. Connected to our wall, connected to the neighbor's wall. We had to put another corner there to get the work just right. And that will be a tight seal between both the walls. No way the water could get through those at all. Looks to me like the chief is napping on the job. If I guess that from my dad. <laughs> or got it from my dad. <laughs> Finally.
melted the sheet. <laughs> we hit a stump or buried a stump or something. That's good enough. About six inches short. Six or seven. All right, one more sheet. We had to move the existing electrical line that had been installed. Uh, it was too shallow and our tieback rods uh, needed to be put in. So we removed it, got our tieback dead been put in and reinstalled the electrical line. Also got all the irrigation along the seawall removed. Down the side yard up there, we'll be uh, connecting that back up tomorrow once we get all the dirt put in place. Chief is on a duck patrol today. There's about 30 ducks up there in the canal. Yeah, just below that, yeah, below the whaler, not probably not down that far. Running electrical conduit through the uh, wall for the equipment. Well Some of the final pictures once I got the sod installed in the yard and all that. Turned out looking real good. Got the boat lift up. Top cap on. See what was looking real good. This project turned out real nice. Hey, if you guys haven't subscribed to the page yet, if you would do so, please, and give me a thumbs up and like. If you got any comments, leave me in the comment box. Thanks, guys.